Lord Bark, you were the Minister in the House of Lords responsible for uh, taking the bill through the House of Lords, although it did start in the House of Commons. What was the purpose of the bill? Well, it was to make some sensible, we thought, reforms to the Constitution and around the Constitution. Uh, and uh, it, the problem with the bill was that, of course, when it got through the Commons, there wasn't very much time left in the Lords before the dissolution of Parliament. And most of the bill, well, nearly all the bill, apart from the second reading, uh, went through during one very long session, one of the longest nights they've had in the Lords for a long time, just before Parliament was dissolved. So, what was, what was lost in the bill? A number of things were lost, a number of things were retained. When I say loss, it means that if, it didn't have a, uh, if, if people put up a lot of resistance in the Lords and they told us beforehand they were going to, we had to drop those parts of the bill, otherwise you would not have got the bill at all. Uh, what was lost uh, was the uh, clauses that would have uh, removed the so-called by-elections that are held for hereditary peers, which we thought were completely out of date and a nonsense. Uh, powers in relation to public order and protesting in the area of Parliament were lost too. And of course what was lost was the referendum on the proposed referendum on the voting system uh, to bring in potentially the alternative vote, the AV vote. Those were the main items that were lost. There were other things that were lost too. So what were the main achievements of the bill? The main achievements particularly was the civil service section of the bill that ensured in statute the independence of the civil service, something that had been argued for for many years uh, by many commentators. And in the House of Lords, ex-secretaries uh, of the Cabinet were united in wanting this to go through. And that is a, a big achievement after many years to have got that through. Also, what needed to go through were parliamentary standards uh, amendments to the Parliamentary Standards Act 2009, the setting up of IPSA, to make sure that was in place for the new Parliament uh, and also the tax status of MPs and members of the House of Lords. Uh, those were the most important items to go through. Again, there were other miscellaneous items that were also passed. So in your view, what are the most important changes that now need to be addressed? Well, obviously the whole future of the House of Lords, uh, not least uh, the problem of the hereditary peers and by-elections, that, hasn't, that wasn't faced during the bill uh, because we were told the bill would not be allowed to go through, it would be talked out, voted out. So we had to compromise on that, that's important. But perhaps most important of all is the referendum uh, on alternative vote, which the new coalition government has said that they will put into a bill uh, and whip on uh, at some time in the future. We don't know, as I speak to you, when that bill will be introduced. Thank you, Lord Bach. Pleasure.